A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to talk about colors and uh, the use of colors in CSS cascading style, she style sheets that is especially the way it works in Dreamweaver. So guys uh, before I start let me show you a slideshow and here goes. So here you see blanked almond, corn silk, honeydew, uh, lemon chiffon pie, mint cream to be exact to be precise mint ice cream we have the papaya whip and uh, the peach puff wheel of course okay that's the end of the slideshow guys now you may be wondering uh, it's it's a, a cascading style sheet uh, tutorial now why is uh, he showing us these pictures you know these eatables it's not a cookery show guys uh, the reason is that all the names that you saw the blanked almond the corn silk the mint cream the lemon chiffon the honeydew the papaya with peach puff and the wheat these are exactly the names that can be used as it is in uh, a, a css document all right i can create a uh, i can have a document uh, created in dreamweaver and i can use the exact names let me show you a chart guys we have 147 predefined names uh, that can be used across all the browsers okay uh, some of the examples are wheat mint green blank almond corn silk papaya whip peach puff lemon chiffon honeydew that we have already seen we have the tomato we have the lime plum orange etc etc so there are 147 uh, color names many of them have got to do with uh, some food stuff some of them are based on fruits fruity names and uh, some of them are the names of flowers some of them are actually names of uh, metals as well like um, silver right okay now guys you may be uh, familiar with the hex codes or the hexadecimal codes that we use in CSS all right they look something like uh, the format is um, a pound sign um, and then we have the six characters the word hex means six all right but uh, not many are aware that the first two characters actually signify the red channel or the red component the next two characters signify the green component and uh, the last two characters actually signify the blue component okay so together these three uh, you know components come together and they form a color RGB that's the way the hex codes are formed for example let's have a look here a pound sign zero 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 is for the color which is black okay uh, I'll tell you why see all values uh, when it comes to uh, hex codes must be between zero and F the alphabet F to be pre precise between zero and nine and then from A to F okay the the closer you get to zero the darker the color the the closer you get to the letter f okay on the color scale the brighter it gets that's the reason why a pound sign zero 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 is actually the darkest of all the colors that's black and a pound sign ff 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 so basically the the green channel the red channel blue channel all channels are rendered bright okay so the color that you get is actually white okay now I'm sure many of you are aware that uh, that the colors can be given in, in, in the form of the RGB model as well the RGB stands for uh, red green and blue okay so something like RGB uh, 0 comma 0 comma 255 actually implies the blue color it can be put up in, in terms of percentage as well so I can uh, say 0 percent 0 percent 100 percent RGB it basically means just the same thing as this so both mean the same color the blue color all right uh, colors now can be rendered semi-transparent guys they can be rendered translucent okay um, by the use of RGBA color model now this a the extra alphabet a that's put after the RGB stands for alpha and alpha is, is uh, the parameter that will make a specific color either fully transparent or fully opaque or semi-transparent okay uh, let's take an example for example uh, RGB a hundred 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 and a point five point five for the alpha alpha 
is 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 a, a value that will not be more than one and not be less than zero. So between zero and one will render uh, a specific color at fifty percent uh, transparency. Okay. Then we have the HSL color model stands for uh, hue saturation and lightness. All right. Uh, the value hue <coughs> can be a value between uh, zero and three sixty. It's like a color wheel okay and uh, saturation and uh, lightness or luminosity as some people refer it to uh, can be a value between uh, 0 and 100 okay so the first value will be in terms of a number the second and the third value will be in terms of percentage we'll see examples of all these uh, color models guys and uh, in the end we have the HSLA color model again A stands for alpha and um, example is 125 percent 25 percent and 0.3 all right now as far as the hsla color model is concerned or the rgba color model is concerned these render colors as we just talked about fully transparent fully opaque uh, semi-transparent okay translucent that is uh, these are supported in ie 9 plus firefox 3 plus chrome safari and opera 10 plus only so if you're working with older browsers not the modern ones chances are that the uh, transparency will not work okay so it's best to uh, use uh, mo the most modern browsers guys all right pretty good next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch Dreamweaver and I'm gonna show you an example of all these color uh, models quickly so let me create a new HTML document and then let me first thing that I'll do is I'll create a background body for the document so I'm gonna say modify page properties and uh, choose a background image for the document let me go with the um, this texture okay and say okay and uh, let me then say okay let me show you a preview quickly in Google Chrome how it looks like right now let me say test file alright let me then save it and the uh, guys it's a texture that has now formed the body of the HTML document let me go back now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert an AP dev all right and uh, let me increase the size of the AP dev All right, great next guys uh, let me just give it any background color okay now what I'll do is guys I'll be changing line number 15 again and again using the various color models and you will see the changes reflect on the right hand side in the design view let me start okay so now guys this uh, the color that you see right now is made up of uh, it's a hex code basically the first two components are the red component of the red, red channel the second two characters uh, signify the green uh, component and the last two characters signify the blue component okay so the red green and blue come together and form this uh, mild uh, nice green color very good so guys I'm gonna come off the hex code and let me just say a color like a wheat that we just saw okay it exactly looks like wheat pretty good let me use uh, blank almond I'm, I'm not just sure that I'm pronouncing the word blank almond uh, correctly I hope so if I'm wrong please let me know so blanked almond all right uh, very similar to the the color wheat okay or uh, maybe something like a tomato okay you must have heard the color orange but I'm sure a uh, tomato is one color that most people haven't heard let me try plum okay guys we don't have anything called X but definitely something called snow let me try snow <laughs> very close to white but uh, not quite white okay so as I said there are 147 color names let me try silver So it's, it's a gray uh, shade. Okay, now guys, you can pronounce gray as G R A Y gray, okay, or as G R E Y gray, and it shouldn't make a difference. <laughs> actually, it's not accepting. It does actually. You need to go to the live view, and it'll show up. Okay, so this is uh, about the 147 uh, color names that are accepted across all the browsers guys wonderful now let's uh, talk about the RGB model okay so I'll put uh, RGB out here then start the parenthesis let's say a hundred comma a hundred comma a hundred and close the brackets up 
and let's have a look okay so it's it's, it's like a it's like a gray color okay and uh, guys now the RGB colors can be in terms of a number now the the red component the first component is a value between 0 and 255 or it could be used in terms of percentage as well and I can say something like um, let's say a hundred percent out here all right and then let me say a 50 percent out here and uh, a 25 percent out here all right so this is the new color that we get very close to orange all right so when working with RGB color model I can use percentages or I, I can use a value between uh, 0 and uh, 255 very good uh, right let's let's talk about the RGBA models I'm gonna just change this RGB to RGBA A for alpha alpha is the channel that will render a specific color translucent uh, semi-transparent opaque uh, completely transparent etc etc and let me add in a value out here as well something like a 0.5 okay now guys although I've uh, added the transparency through the alpha channel I'm still not able to see that the reason for that is that uh, I need to be in the live view and the moment I you know turn the live view on you can see that the the background texture is actually seen through the color wonderful now uh, let's have a look at the HSL model the hue saturation lightness HSL all right and when you're working with HSL guys the first uh, value can be a value between uh, 0 and 360 let me choose 350 okay a comma and the other two values for the saturation the lightness can be a value in terms of percentage only all right so 50 percent out here and a comma and a 50 percent out here as well okay so it's it's a it's a different color guys it's a different color let me add um, the a for alpha out here which also means that I need to add one more value in the end let's say a 0.5 alright and uh, here in the live view you can see that it's actually rendered the color semi transparent you can see the texture in the background lovely okay <coughs> so guys we have uh, studied the RGB HSL HSLA RGBA uh, the hex code models okay I want to talk about the uh, the hex code uh, once again you see the color scale is between 0 and F and as I said earlier it's between uh, 0 and 9 first and then uh, starting the alphabet A to the alphabet F okay the closer you get to 0 guys the uh, the darker the color alright and uh, the closer you get to F so from a uh, 0 to uh, 9 and then from the alphabet A to the alphabet F okay so the closer you get to 0 the darker the color the closer you get to F the the brighter the color and uh, if you're around the 9 or the alphabet A then uh, the chances are that uh, this will impart a m you know a moderate uh, color so it'll not be very bright not be very dark either alright so what I'll do is let me replace this color out here okay with something like a pound sign one 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 okay now since it's very close to zero okay the chances are that the new color uh, that will come up uh, will be a very dark color so this color that you see on the screen right now guys is a very dark color that's because very close to zero okay now let's let's uh, get very close to F so uh, something like uh, E E E E E E okay E six times should be very close to F and it should be a very bright color so not exactly white guys it's something like a silver uh, or very uh, dull gray color all right so and uh, let's try this out something uh, in the middle of the scale which is let's say the alphabet nine so something like uh, a nine 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 okay now this should render the color is neither very uh, dull you know, neither very dark neither very bright so it's somewhere in the between somewhere in the middle okay so guys I hope I have actually um, 
conveyed the message properly. When I was making this tutorial on colors, I was not so sure that um, I'm doing the right thing. I, I, I felt, uh, to be very honest, I felt a little stupid. I felt that I'm, I'm trying to tell you something that um, uh, is, is, you know, is already known. Uh, so I'm not so sure that I've actually um, made a useful tutorial. This is for you to give me as a feedback that has it actually helped you. Or ha have I just gone through the, the emotions and uh, this, this was something that you already knew. So guys, uh, please write, please comment. Uh, and uh, you can sub me, of course, uh, if you wish. So I'll see you next time with yet another Dreamweaver tutorial or it could be Flash with Action Script 3. Peace. Bye-bye.